based on the popular real-time strategy games. Story. You are to build the town into a farming center of no less than six farms. Comes the film that changed the world's expectations of video game movies. From crappy looking low budget messes to gorgeous looking high budget messes. Baby steps you guys, we'll get a good one someday. Warcraft. Journey to the land of Azeroth, where the kingdom of Stormwind is beset by orcs from the planet Draenor. All but the Frostwolf clan, led by the mighty Duratan, have come under the influence of Gul'dan and his dark fell magic. Now, it's up to a small band of humans who already know the game's storyline to understand whatever it was I just said. What? Begin your quest through the world's most expensive, unskippable cutscene and immerse yourself in the world of the orcs, from their giant teeth, to their delicate tooth piercings, to their toothy armor, to the teeth they strap in their baby baskets, to the teeth they yank out as souvenirs, to the prosthetic teeth this actress can barely speak through. Let your warriors honor their tradition. Wait, what'd you say? Marvel at these artificial characters' ability to convey emotion, and these human actors' inability to do the same, as you spend half the movie with these boring-ass people. Lothar, the mighty warrior who gets winded walking up the stairs. King Monotone, the board. I am King Lane. Go to Lane. I'm told you wish to talk. I'll hook up behind her. Medivh, the mage who always has to unwind after a long day of magic with a nice hot bath. <sighs> Gamora, the half orc with the birth defect of being kind of hot. And aw, why'd they have to drag Glenn close into this? Together, they'll engage in a tangle of plot lines about fatherhood, acceptance, and the corruption of power that will have you saying, can we just go back to the orcs, please? I'm bored. Stare in awe at this overly ambitious fantasy film, where both sides have their own heroes and villains. That ends up feeling like a season of Game of Thrones crammed into two hours, with six different main characters performing five different betrayals on each other. The Guardian has betrayed us. And where is the honor in him betraying his own people? Gul'dan is the betrayer. You should have trusted in your chieftain. All leading up to a climax that resolves absolutely nothing. Maybe they'll put a real ending in the expansion pack? So if you love the Warcraft games for their plot, but hate the sense of humor that made them so endearing. Me no sound like Yoda. Do I? Or if you just love to watch a bunch of dudes look at a map. Supply line's here. Show me where you come from. Horses getting wrecked. <laughs> and magic guys covered in swirly stuff. Then according to the box office, you're probably Chinese. Starring. Uh, the main orc dude, his friend, the, uh, the, the little mage guy. Look, I'm at a loss here. Can we get a real Warcraft fan to pinch hit for me? Say no more, my epic mount. Wait, what'd you just call me? That's Sir Anduin Lothar, Lion of Azeroth and wielder of the greatsword Kel'Zeram. Ugh. Gul'dan of the Stormreaver clan, master of the Shadow Council, and warlock of the- These don't have to be so long, do they? We faithfully reproduce Stormwind with appropriate district roof colors and Griffin flight path. Is that supposed to be important? And if you look really- Closely, you can see Harvest Golems, aka the battle pet Tiny Harvester, of course. Was that even English? And the Murlocs of Elwyn Forest, making the iconic sounds we all fondly remember from our earliest days in WoW. Nerd. Noob. Dawn of the Planet of the Orcs. I can't wait for the League of Legends movie to come out six years too late, too. Hi, Honest Trailer fans, it's me, Doug Benson. I've got a new show called Pitch Off. I play a fake Hollywood mogul who fake green lights fake projects. Broadway musical version of The Avengers, go. Opening scene, abandoned mustard factory. Played by Nicolas Cage. Soapbox derby to decide the fate of the Earth. Alec Baldwin is narrating all of this. Or is he? They're 100% on board with this. They're at 100% and I'm at zero. Tell me again who the good guy is. This is not how I wanted to start my day. Pitch Off, only on Screen Junkies Plus. Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Trailers. Hey, Screen Junkies, are you tired of watching the same boring sequels over and over again? Then you'll love our new show, Pitch Off with Doug Benson, where comedians pitch their hilarious versions of the sequels no one asked for. Click the box on the left to register now and watch five episodes of Pitch Off or any other show on Screen Junkies Plus for free. And click the box on the right to check out our honest trailer for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. Now, on to dumb things you forced me to say. Why make trillions when we can make billions? It's not who I am, it's what do that defines me. 
Leroy Jenkins. Larry likes looking lonely, licking lost lumpy lemon lime lollies. Gotta get a gift. Gotta get a gift. Gotta get a gift. Gotta get a gift for Splinter. Trust me, I am a whale biologist. <laughs>